Hello my friend, welcome to another adventure. If you're new here, my name's Hannah, and I've lived and traveled in a truck camper for over three years. If you want to follow along, make sure you like and subscribe so you can join me on these fun adventures. Last week, I was in Colorado to get some very important footage. Elk butt. Gotta get the booty shot. But this week, I have a brand new surprise for you. An adventure via motorcycle. My first one. This is bad. Let's go. Today is my first moto vlog. Am I doing it right? <laughs> Guess we'll find out. We're gonna do some camping, some fishing, some cooking, some swimming, and most importantly, some motorcycling. I can count on one hand how many times I've ridden a motorcycle, so this could get interesting. Hopefully I don't crash. Wish me luck. Today, I'm ready for some motorcycle hammock camping. This, my friend, is a Yamaha TW200, and it's been in production longer than I've been in production. It's a classic dual sport bike, 196 cc's. I think it's gonna be the perfect beginner bike for me. This bike got the most comments and votes that I could get my hands on. It's gonna need some lights and some racks. Let me know down below in the comments what you would add to this bike to make it the most epic adventure bike possible. Hopefully, by spring, I'm gonna move up to a little bit bigger bike, but this is my beginner. It's basically brand new but it is used. It has less than 200 miles on it. Long story short is the guy bought the bike, tried to take it off-road. The front tire threw him off the bike. He got all jacked up <laughs> and he broke the front brake. Exhibit A, master engineering skills right here, AKA JB Weld, the front brake back on. Immediately after, he listed the bike for sale and I was the lucky winner that called first. Moral of the story is I need to switch out the OEM front tire so I don't find out personally why it's called the Teeth Crusher Widowmaker. Hopefully I don't experience that today. Knock on rubber. <laughs> she purrs nice. She purrs real nice. Okay. Like these rear view mirrors. Hi! This is so crazy. Trying to talk and concentrate. Make sure I don't wipe out. Look at those views. A little bit rockier. Oh, there's a lake. I found a lake. This is amazing. Look. Wasn't sure I'd even make it down this hill, but no problems. It was a pretty lake in the mountains, but no time to stop. Back up the hill, no issues. These are the types of trails I like though, because they're not, they're not too crazy. Temperature is perfect out. I was really worried getting my motorcycle license this late in the year. I wasn't going to get any time to ride, but the weather has been absolutely perfect. Not too hot, not too cold. Whoa, buddy, coming through. Just wave and smile. <laughs> Concentrate on not crashing. But that went better than I thought, except. I thought it was gonna go splat on the guy's front grill, but thankfully there's a little bit of room on the side to pull off. That gravel is a sly beast. <laughs> Think you're all good, then you turn the wheel too tight, takes you over the front handlebars. Greetings, my friend. It's Hannah, reporting from the future. Sorry to interrupt the video, but it appears that I've been abducted by aliens. And their only request is that you go to my website, drstraight.com, and check out all the new merch I just dropped, as well as the sale that I'm having on my instant mushroom coffee. It's instant coffee with seven superfood mushrooms, including chaga and lion's mane. And no, it doesn't taste like mushrooms. It tastes like a delicious cup of coffee. Ask the aliens. That'd be great though, because that way maybe they'll let me go and I can continue making videos. Here are some of the really cool t-shirt designs the aliens helped me come up with. What, what's that? I hear the aliens. They're calling my name. They said, Hannah, it's time to get back to the video. We need your help with the spaceship. I gotta go. Happy Halloween. Switching into third, going about 15 miles per hour, but I feel like I'm going 40. Okay. Going. This is one of the first real roads I've been on. Granted, it's not a very busy road, but that's the whole idea, staying away from busy roads. It's like a real life game of Frogger, except it's not a game because there's no reset. Doing well though so far, it's a beautiful day. Sun's out, weather's perfect. I can understand why people get addicted to riding motorcycles because it feels wonderful. Even though I'm gonna be doing mostly dual sport, 
off-road adventuring, not much highway riding. Oh, it's like a little lily pond. Whee! <laughs> this is so cool, I feel so alive. <laughs> I finally reached the rocky trail to the waterfall. It's kind of hard to talk and navigate on a motorcycle. I'm trying not to crash. But it ended up being a little rockier than I thought it would be. Well, that was wild. A little much for me. I like these sandy stretches. Just taking it low and slow so I don't throw myself off any of these rocks. Oh my goodness. Don't want to go turn into a little smash guy. I really like the trails through the trees, but only on a quiet day. This would be overwhelming with lots of people on it. I still need more practice. Oh man, okay. Game over, guys. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for this. Try to go backwards. This is bad. Help! It's the best course of action. Try to get the bike turned around. This is why they say, don't get a bike that you can't pick up. The bike's turned around. Let's try this again. That's the beautiful river down there. I don't know how I'm gonna get down there. Let's use the power of the bike to get back up this hill. Whew! We did it! We're out! Okay, I need a break. Let's check out this waterfall and the beautiful river right alongside it. Look at that. Check out my fishing pole for motorcycle adventures. It looks really small, but don't worry. It turns into a nice long fishing pole. <laughs> just like that. It's perfect for fitting in your backpack. Once you get to the lake, you just pull it out, expand it out and catch a fish, which is what I plan on doing now. So let's head down to the lake. Just doing some fishing. No one else out here. It's so calm, the wind's low, it's about to glass off. I still haven't seen anything jump in this lake though, so I'm not feeling too calm. If only I could get fishing line stuck on a rock. It doesn't have a lip. Well, my worm's still here, so my worm mechanism is working, but the fish are not. I think my cast has improved. The fish probably think so too. There are no fish in this lake. These fish, they must not be awake. If they are, they must all be eating cake. There are no fish in this lake. Oh, there's my worm. He's so cold, he doesn't squirm. Let me tell you a story. I've never caught a fish in this lake. It's just too darn cold. High elevation lakes, they don't get along with me. I don't fish well in them. I think it's just my worm is frozen. I'm not sure I'm gonna fish here ever again. No bites, no jumps, no movement. I don't think I'm gonna be catching any fish tonight. Nothing. I don't even see any birds. There's no bugs either. I 
want to keep fishing, but I gotta set up my hammock and make some food before it gets too dark. Sun's already down below the trees. I may have to give up for tonight. Let's go set up my hammock. I got changed. I'm feeling nice and toasty. Time to set up camp and make some food. If you're a regular viewer and you're used to Hannah's truck camper kitchen, then you're in for a surprise tonight. You'll never guess what we're having for dinner. It's been a while since I've used my trusty hammock. See if I still remember how to use it. This should be interesting. This is a pretty girthy tree. I'm gonna cowboy it. Or should we test it out? Or should we just get this gourmet dinner started? What do you think? Does it look good? I think it looks good. I'm gonna sit in a second. I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about the hammock. I love this bug net and I always talk about the bug net. I don't remember where I got it. I've had it like four years and it's just my trusty hammock. Just look up hammock with bug net. I think I'm gonna move this hammock up one more notch. So I'm a little bit further off the ground and then we're gonna go make dinner over there. No bear burritos. Spaghetti with beef and sauce. I hope there's utensils included because I got none. There's also no expiration date. So here's the deal. We're having MREs for dinner. My brother's in the Marines. I had to ask him, hey bro, what's the best MRE? And he said, none. We'd rather eat nothing than an MRE. And I was like, I hardly believe that because if I was starving, I would definitely eat an MRE. So he begrudgingly gave me five of his favorite MREs. This was his last option, but I couldn't find his first. I've never had an MRE before, so let me know down below in the comments what your favorite is because I'm interested to hear what gourmet meals you like most. Looks delicious already. <laughs> Do you follow directions because do not overfill. After 10 to 15 minutes, lean it against a rock or something and wait 10 or 15 minutes. I guess we'll have dessert first. I don't know how many years old this is. That's pretty good. I would eat that. That's also coming from somebody who's tried a dog treat in a dog store. Wheat snack bread. What? Looks like petrified bread. Fake bread. The bread's really dense and the peanut butter and jelly taste plastic. Well, welcome back to Hannah's Cooking Extravaganza, where it's been 15 minutes and I'm getting really cold and even hungrier and it's much darker. So let's see what this weird pouch of food tastes like. This water is not warm. Looks like this is going to be a cold spaghetti and meat taste test. Noodles, red sauce, and some type of beef looking protein. It reminds me of those boxed Chef Boyardee meals. Doesn't this look appetizing? What would you give it rating based on visuals only? This is something that you should only eat if you're lost or stranded in the woods. Cold, lumpy spaghetti out of a pouch. Two out of 10. The best food in this MRE was the toaster pastry. I'm gonna gather my MRE up and pack it away so I never have to see it again and <laughs> go lay in my hammock. <laughs> I got my zero degree sleeping bag all laid out, all snug in a rug. Catch you in the next episode. Bye. Don't forget to leave me a comment below and let me know what I need to add to my motorcycle. We gotta build it together.